I would say try it for 30 days. If you miss it, that's fine. You can go back to it, but at least experience 21 days or 30 days without oils and then see how your hair reacts. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Exotic Woods here. I make natural hair and lifestyle videos. If it's your first time tuning in, do not forget to subscribe down below and also follow me on Instagram at Exotic Roots. On today's video, I just washed my hair and I was not even planning on filming this process, but I figured I might as well address a topic that is currently trending in the natural hair community. It's not new per se, however, with a lot more hairstylists being on social media, on Instagram and on TikTok, this information is going all over the place and I wanted to give you my two cents. It's about the natural hair community and hair oils, butters, etc. While I'm talking, I'll also be styling my hair. There's not really a reason why I'm using these products together. I'm just trying to go through what I have because some of the products that I have here have been there since like over a year. I'll be using the Bureau Gel Leave-In Defining Cream, their Coral Custard, I do have a video on this whole line so I'll link it above, and then as a gel, I just want to finish my kinky curly as you can see it's almost done and also my earth tones natural gel so this is what I'll be using to style my hair today okay um, I'm not really going to talk about techniques and everything the topic today is hair oil okay so when exactly did our ancestors black people in general started using oils and butters on their hair it goes back all the way to slavery. They didn't really have access to water, shampoo, and soaps all the time. So they would use oils and butters on their scalp and hair to protect them from animals, from insects, and all of that. So this was transferred down from generation to generation. That's why you see that our grandmothers, they were using hair grease on their hair. When I was growing up, we didn't really have dip conditioners or leave-in conditioners, cream stylers. It was literally shampoo, conditioner, hair grease. What is this, honey? So with the natural hair movement getting bigger, we have access to more products. We have a leave-in conditioner, dip conditioners, and all of that makes handling our hair so much easier. So why don't I encourage people using oils on their hair and why I don't use oil on the, my hair anymore? I stopped using oils since 2018, I believe 2017 or 2018. I haven't been using oils since and whenever I would use oils before that, it was mostly to pre-poo. So I would do a coconut oil pre-poo um, that would help me detangle. There's nothing wrong with doing it. You can still do it and it's still gonna be fine. However, oils and water, they don't mix. So then if you put oil on your hair or if your hair has a residue of oil on it, then it would be so much harder for water and product to penetrate the hair. This is what leads to very dry. When I say dry, dry hair. You can see that you're putting in water, you're going into the shower, but then the water just goes down your hair, it does not penetrate, it doesn't enter the hair. Yes, your hair might be low porosity. However, if your hair is low porosity and you've been using oils, you'll see that you have a coating on the hair that makes it so much harder for water to penetrate. So when we think about oils, most of our natural hair products, if not all, are already formulated with hair oils or hair butters. Quick demonstration. If I take this product from Briojo, the first product is water, the second one is castor oil. So it already has castor oil in this. You don't have to apply extra castor oil to your hair because the product that you're using already has oil in it. Another dip conditioner. We have water, coconut water, safflower oil. Okay, I'll take this from She Moisture. It's a styling cream. So in the ingredients, we have water, glycerin, and shea butter. So in the first five ingredients, you already have oils and butters in your natural hair products. So that's why applying extra oil is not really beneficial for the hair. Another topic that I covered on my Instagram last week was hair growth oils and how 
they are a scam. They're trying to get your money and just saying that it will give you like six inches in a month. This is one of the ways for you to purchase the product. And don't get me wrong, some hair growth oils, they do have ingredients that can improve scalp and hair health. However, your hair will grow and it can grow with or without the hair oils. Hair growth, it comes with a consistent routine, your washing, your dip conditioning or conditioning, and then you're styling your hair with great products. And then you'll notice that after three months, after six months, then you'll see that hair growth that you want. Back to the oils and butters on your natural hair, you'll notice that a lot of um, hairstylists are now going on Instagram saying, please, please stop putting oils and butters on your hair because that makes our job way more difficult. And to be honest, I do understand because whenever you have that layer of oils and butter, they have to give you at least one, two, three shampoos to completely remove that layer so then they can apply a dip conditioner or a hair treatment to nourish your hair. If you're using oils, first use it in moderation and also make sure that you wash it off every wash day. So on your wash day, use a very cleansing shampoo. If not a clarifying shampoo, but a shampoo that will remove all of it. Do not use just a co-wash because a co-wash won't remove all of it. And um, clarify your hair at least, I would say, once or twice a month. And if you're still using oils on your hair, it's fine. I'm not gonna fight you for it. I stopped, I stopped fighting people on the internet when they want to use oils on their hair. The only thing that I will fight you for is for DIY hair products. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. But for oils, you can use it. It won't kill you. <laughs> Honestly, it won't kill you. But if you want to achieve the best potential for your hair, I would say use them very lightly. Now, you might ask yourself, well, if it's not really good for the hair, why do companies um, still like launch oils whenever they're launching a new line? It's because we ask for it. When you think about it, companies only gonna put on the market what we ask for. If we stop asking for hair oils, <laughs> they won't be giving us hair oils. Um, and yes, you can still apply them on your hair. I still use, not oils, but I still use like hair serum on my hair to give me just a little bit of shine, a boost whenever I'm styling my hair. But you won't see me piling on oils on my hair when I'm styling. Bottom line of the story is, if you're using oils, make sure you know what you're using it for. Um, don't use oils because you think that it's gonna make your hair grow because it won't. <laughs> the care and your routine will make your hair grow. If you're using them to nourish your hair, I would say stick with a dip conditioner that is formulated with that oil that you like and you will get the same results without the residue that stays on your hair. If you're using them for more shine, that's fine. Use something light, use a serum, use something light and then slightly on your hands and then lightly put it on your hair. It's been two years, no, three years now since I stopped using oils and my hair is fine, I don't miss it. There's not a day that goes by and say, oh, I miss applying shea butter on my hair. Or actually, I've never really applied shea butter on my hair. Or I would say, I miss applying castor oil. I miss applying coconut oil on my hair. No, that never happens to me. So you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I would say try it for 30 days. If you miss it, that's fine, you can go back to it. But at least experience. 21 days or 30 days without oils and then see how your hair reacts. Hey guys, I'm back quickly to show you the results of my hair. Wash and go is looking great with the products that I used. And when I was styling my hair, I just remembered that there's different types of oils. So I don't have a lot of them because I threw away most <laughs> of what I had. But I'll show you some of the oils that I do have. So let's say you have this oil from Diva Curl. I use it pretty often. As you can see, it's more than half down. 
and it has a bunch of oils in it so it's a high shine oil usually what I would use this for is when I'm done styling my hair I just spritz it like a shine spray and then this is what I use this day it's a new brand um, it's a hair serum as well it's a hair oil it is very smooth and it smells amazing so I like to use this as well after styling just to give my hair a little bit more shine. And then you have this Haitian black castor oil. It is a very thick. If I'm using this, this is like too much. I would use it in the tip of my fingers and then I would just massage my scalp. Most of the oils that I have have been sent via PR. I did not personally purchase a hair oil since 2018. So these are pretty much the oils that I own. As you can see, they're not raw oils that you can literally cook with. And I use them in a very, in a very small amount when I'm done styling my hair. I don't just come out of the shower and then apply oils on my hair, or apply a leave-in and apply an oil. I would use an oil after styling and drying my hair. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know if you're still using oils or if you're no longer using oils. Let me know your thoughts about the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.